guys, so my name is Taz and today I want to talk about mental health because I feel like it's something we don't talk about enough. Um, I have suffered with mental health issues for the past few years and it was something that I found really hard to talk about. Um, coming soon are pictures, well, they'll come in a bit. Um, and if you look at these pictures, you will think that I come across really happy. First impressions, I'm really happy. I'm socialising with friends. But the truth is, when these pictures were taken, I was actually going through one of the worst times of my life. Um, I was having really bad depression, but I felt like I had to hide behind the smile and stuff because of the stigma of mental health. Um, if I was to describe what depression is like, it's like there's this huge pressure on you, there's this huge burden on you, and it's weighing you down. And it is debilitating and it is exhausting, but you had to push yourself through it. And that's hard. That's really, really hard. And on top of all that, you have the world telling you that what you feel isn't real. Because if you can't see it, then it's not a real illness. Um, so I found it really hard to talk about. And after I graduated, I had a really bad mental health episode. And it sounds really cliche and lame, but I found my voice through spoken word poetry. And um, I started posting my work online, and I got an overwhelmingly positive response, something that I was not expecting at all. And um, some of the responses I had, some of the comments I had were things like, I feel less alone because of the video. I'm glad you talked about it. The video actually meant that they got help in the end, um, that it cried, they cried. There was a lot of people crying. Um, <laughs> um, and after that, I finally got the courage this year to get help myself. I got help in February and I've been on medication and um, I am the happiest I've ever been. Um, and I finally can talk about it. Um, and so, if there's one message I want to give away today, it's that please talk about it. Because the more we talk about it, the more we create an open space to talk about it. And you never know who's going through it. Because I was a smiley, happy kid, and I was not happy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I would say please talk about it. Um, and if you are struggling with it, then please do get help. Um, I want to end my talk with a spoken word. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's not that I don't want to be happy. It's that despite how hard I try, I can't bring myself to be happy. I feel suffocated, embarrassed, ashamed. Why did I have to be this way? I have a great family, amazing friends, good academic results. On paper, everything is okay. Yet all I ever seem to see is sadness and grey. It's like there's this burden on me, pulling me to the ground, and however hard I try, I can't bring myself out. I can't bring myself to care about anything, not me, not him, not her. Living has become this constant nightmare. And it's just not fair. Society will tell me to try yoga, go for a walk, listen to meditation. I tell them that this cannot be solved by exercise or medication. It's a disease that affects every aspect of my life, my work, my relationship, my education. And to this day, Despite my best efforts to explain, I met with blind hesitation. People will ask me, why are you always so sad? I tell them I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is that I wake up every morning feeling like absolute shit and that's become my norm. I'm afraid of the world. I'm afraid to put my guard down in the feet that I will be judged for something that I cannot control. Where's the fairness of it all? Do you think I like to watch myself fall into this hole full of stuff, hate, shame and loathe? So I hide and I put up a wall that is so high you will never see my pain or any of my flaws. I create this character and she is perfect. She's invincible. And so I carry on living these two lives, one for the public and one just for me late at night. Because that's easier than admitting I have a problem. And that's the problem. The stigma is real, people, and it will not go away until we realise that mental health is a big deal. It's a hidden disease that affects so many lives. Wake up and listen to the silent cries. It's a kid who never speaks or the man who's always tired, the woman who's too emotional or the guy who just got fired. Because he was absent a lot. He couldn't get himself out of bed due to his mental health, but do you think any of his colleagues knew that? Of course not. Depression is the hell inside of me, and it eats me up. 
daily. Thank you. <laughs>